Yo, Lady J, some slightly cheaper phone posits, and the Mamba Day Turnup. I am your host, Jacques Slade, and this is Today in Sneaks. Am I allowed to say Lady J? Is that, that's cool. It's not offensive. Cool? Cool. Let's start with some Mamba news. As most of you know, the Black Mamba, a.k.a. Kobe Bryant, will be playing his last game on Wednesday. And if you are in L.A., you will have the option of picking up a couple of the pairs at the Nike Vault. The Nike Vault will have the full faded black pack, but you will only be able to buy two pairs of the shoes in the collection if you win the raffle. Now, from what I understand, you actually have to be at the Staples Center in order to win because there is that is where the raffle is actually going to take place and where you can actually buy the shoes. I'll include a link down below if you are in the city and want to stop by. Jordan Brand has been really active on the Air Jordan 10 tip and next month it looks like the ladies will have a chance at a pair exclusively for them. We generally see this makeup with the black or red, sometimes it's blue, but Jordan is actually switching out the colors and substituting it with pink. Now the pink sets the tone on the liner and on the Jumpman logo on the heel and as a last little bit of pink love, you can actually see that they use pink on the outsole as well. Now of all of the Jordan models, the Jordan 10 probably has the most obvious nods to Jordan's career and you can see it all on the outsole. These will go up to a nine and a half if any of you guys want to try and get a pair when they go on sale on May 14th. 3D shoes may or may not be a big deal in the near future and brands are testing the waters to see how the public responds. New Balance is actually getting into the ring with the likes of Adidas, Nike, and Under Armour and today introduced, one. Well, I shouldn't say introduced, they revealed more, I don't want to say revealed because they've actually had the shoe on the market since November, but now you'll be able to buy it. Similar to the Under Armour shoe I showed you a little while ago, the 3D printed portion of the shoe was actually the midsole and New Balance uses elastomeric powder and Duraform Flex TP to assist in the process. Uh, again, these were revealed back in November. November 2015 and they're actually going to go on sale now this month in Boston, but only Boston. They're actually going to hit other New Balance locations later in the year, but if you're in the Boston area right now, you can actually be the first to get a pair. The Nike Air Foam Posit Pro is one of the most iconic looking sneakers ever. Nike basketball or anybody, period. And that's a good thing. Now for the next look at the shoe, Nike is giving the model an update in red or university red to be completely accurate. Foam Posit fans will recognize that this model actually has the Nike jewel on the side panel, which helps give this model that pro designation. And it really stands out in black against that university red. The black on this model actually sits over a premium leather detailing that Nike is calling new. Uh, these will be dropping this weekend and you can grab a pair for $230. Getting back to Kobe, Nike ID is going to have something special for fans of the NBA baller when he starts his last game on Wednesday. Called the Mama Day ID, the models take numbers from Kobe's career like 24, 20, and 8 and put them over the upper of a black and gold shoe. These will officially go on sale when Kobe's last game starts on 413 and the numbers are limited so don't sleep if you want a pair. All right, for the question of the video, I want to know if you had a choice to either go to the Warriors winning game number 73 or to see Kobe's last game, which one would it be? I'll be honest, I'm a Laker fan, so for me, it's Kobe all the way. But let me know what you would do down in the comments below. As for what I'm rocking today, well, I'm in a Kobe depression mode because he's retiring in a couple days. So right now I'm wearing the uh, Kobe 7 Elite. Uh, this I think this was the first set of Elite shoes when they came in black, obviously the black and the gold. And then all the athletes are wearing black and gold this week to kind of commemorate Kobe. So I figured it'd be a good time for me to wear these because they're black and gold. So yeah, that's what I'm rocking today. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe. And also follow me over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Uh, it's all under the name Cousteau. As always, I am Jacques Slade. I appreciate you, and I'll see you soon. Peace. I just wanted to give you a first look at Nike's technically first laceless shoe. I know we all think about the Air Mag when we think about laceless shoes. What's up, guys? Jacques Slade here with Kevin Durant. And as you know, we just launched the KD9, just launched the Olympic jerseys. Now, you've been at a low top.